Dave Marsh, iGolf TV, back once again to give you a tip about driving the ball into the wind. Four things to remember that are going to make a big difference. Step number one, pretty simple. Let's tee the ball a little bit lower than you normally would. We don't want the ball to be flown up into the air too much. We want to get more of a drilling flight and actually teeing the ball low will help you to do that. Step number two, we'd normally be setting the ball up off our left heel, but I want you to move the ball only about an inch or two back. You'd be amazed at how just that simple change will make a difference to the flight. The next thing I want you to do is as we come down on the downswing, because the ball's lower, it's going to encourage us to hit the ball at the middle to bottom part of the driver. So I almost want you to feel as if we're going to thin the ball. We want the ball really tracking hard and penetrating into the wind. So making it come from the middle or the bottom of the club is going to take the loft off the flight and get it drilling into the wind. So that's step number three. And finally, I want you to feel as if the swing through is a little bit shorter. When our swing through is a bit shorter, it takes a lot of the wrist action out and it helps to drill the ball and keep it low. Now, if you can put those four things together, you'll be really confident to go out there and hit the ball hard and low into the wind. Let me go ahead and hit one for you. Watch how my swing's just that little bit shorter at the end. Held my finish really well and got that absolutely drilling down there into the wind. Follow these four points and you won't worry every time you get up and the wind's blowing into your face. Now if you enjoyed today's video, you can click below and watch yesterday's or you can join me back here tomorrow to pick up another good tip.